Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back to another video. So apart from all the news that we've got from the next Battlefield game in the past few days, we've got other news now and that's from Tom Henderson. He's got a new article on his website Insider Gaming and the news are really interesting. We've got news about the Battle Royale experience, we've got news about the story campaign, we've also got the news about a new destruction system which is completely sick if, it, if true and uh, the news are really interesting. So. What I'm doing today is I'm going to take you through this article and see what's new about the next Battlefield game. This is the third video in a row about the next Battlefield game. It was really interesting. The news are just flooding us. And I'm here to give you what's new and what's coming our way as Battlefield players. Insider Gaming understands that the game will take place somewhere between 2027 and 2030, with a campaign focused on a massive private military going up against NATO. The game will be set in various locations worldwide, including Gibraltar, as seen in the game's first release, Tons concept art, which you are seeing right now, and the USA, which is also believed to be the setting for the Battle Royale experience, and it's going to be a tropical location. But let's cut to the chase and talk multiplayer. The aim is currently for 45 different weapons on launch, double that of what Battlefield 2042's core multiplayer experience launched with. In addition, the goal is for around 10 multiplayer maps, putting it in line with the likes of Battlefield 1, 3, and 4. So that is actually great. The more weapons you have and the more maps you have in the day one for a FPS game, the better. The difference here between this one Battlefield and the other Battlefields like Battlefield 1, 3, and 4 is that they had some sort of premium version. The amount of maps they could release with a single DLC was like four, five maps. Now we've got live service for this next Battlefield game and they have to at least be able to deliver two maps per season to be able to somehow compensate for that premium era. So as a live service, they have some harder job to do. And for the campaign 2027 to 2030 is in my opinion, a great time to have a Battlefield in. Obviously we're not gonna be flooded with technology because it's really close to the present time. We're just gonna wait and see how it turns out. So let's see what else Tom Anderson has to say. The game will also see a significant overhaul to its destruction and while I couldn't verify if this means the return of Levolution, over half a dozen sources mentioned that the game would have caliber based destruction akin to Rainbow Six Siege with different calibers causing different amounts of destruction. It's also understood that the game will see some changes to movement with one example given by multiple sources the ability to pick up and move down to players. While this has almost certainly been incorporated for the Battle Royale experience, it's been implied that this is all of the changes and it's a part of the team's Battlefield Moments initiative to bring back the moments that made Battlefield what it is. So speaking about the destruction and being close to Rainbow Six Siege, I've actually got quite some experience with Rainbow Six Siege and I know how exactly that works. When you have an SMG with a 9mm round and you've got an assault rifle with let's say a 5.56 or maybe even a 7.62, the destruction those weapons cause are absolutely different. The 9mm has a lower destruction than let's say a 5.56 and the 7.62 has a higher destruction than the 5.56. If that's the case then it's going to be a very interesting destruction system and I'm pretty sure the news about this destruction system will be out soon because EA really focuses on it a lot. They want to create a whole new environment for this destruction system so we're gonna have to wait and see. Tom Henderson also says quote I've also been told that the team is currently weighing up the name of the game. Over the past years or so, the team has been carrying out mass surveys, some of the biggest I've heard about, with participants voting on which game name they prefer, Battlefield or Battlefield 6. So fingers crossed we might not have to wait long until that is officially announced." End quote. So in my opinion, Battlefield 6 is a way better name than just a simple Battlefield. I don't even know where this Battlefield 7 came from, but now it's going to go out of the equation. It's probably going to be Battlefield 6. We're going to have to wait and see. And finally, regarding the large-scale community-driven testing, quote, I am very much inclined to believe that this is more than just an open or closed beta, but rather the return of the Battlefield CTE, which really helped the development of Battlefield 1 and 4. Now, if you guys don't know, CTE stands for Community Test Environment. It's basically a feature that allows players to test new gameplay features that may be added in future patches on servers separate from the base game they are played on. So we've got separate servers for the new patches and those changes will be implemented on those servers so the players can join those servers, test the new features that are coming and give feedback. And the studios working on the game 
might actually consider changing some of these features that the players don't like. That's actually the goal of this community test environment. It will have a significantly positive impact on the development of the game. We know that for a fact, we've seen that in Battlefield 1 and 4. That's going to be a big help for the community and that's going to be an even bigger help for the studios working on the Battlefield game. So if I want to wrap things up real quick, the story campaign is going to be between 2027 to 2030. It's going to be focused on a massive private military going up against NATO and the game will be set in various locations. The game's going to have 45 weapons and 10 multiplayer maps on launch. So that's the day one stats. The game will also see a significant overhaul to its destruction system and it's going to be something like Rainbow Six Siege. It's going to be caliber based destruction. Now if I want to give you a small example here, imagine we've got an MP5 and an M60. The MP5 is chambered in 9mm and the M16 is chambered in 556. That said, the 556 round is bigger and it's going to have more destruction damage on everything destructible in the game. That's how it's going to be. Now, assume you've got a 50 caliber round sniper rifle or an LMG with 50 caliber rounds, a turret. That's going to have a lot more destruction than the 762 round on your AK. We are definitely going to have a battle royale experience that has been confirmed by Insider Gaming like six months ago. Uh, that's going to be free to play. It's going to have a lot of different features. One of them is the ability to pick up and move down to players. Also, the team has been carrying out a massive survey, some of the biggest that Tom Henderson has seen, uh, and the participants voting on the game's name. And it was apparently between Battlefield or Battlefield 6. My guess is Battlefield 6. We'll have to wait and see. And finally, for this large-scale community-driven testing, it's going to be probably the return of Battlefield CTE, where you can jump on different servers, uh, play the game on its current state, and give feedback. Whatever the feedback is, the studios working on the game will be able to hear you out, uh, just plan their changes accordingly. So that was everything you needed to know uh, about this exclusive Tom Henderson article on Insider Gaming. I'm guessing that after this article, the community will go radio silent. EA will not share anything more on the game because we already know a lot. Then they're going to give the community some space to see uh, how the community reacts to all the, all the things they've said. Easter eggs and stuff like that slowly start to show themselves. Thank you all guys for watching. Hope this video was helpful. Go down in the comment section and let me know what you think about the news. You can also vote on the comment section for the next Battlefield game name uh, which is an interesting topic now and also let me know what you think about the destruction system if it's like the caliber based rainbow six siege style that's going to be interesting even for battlefield so let me know what you think about it with that said thanks for watching and until next time guys stay cool